What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Rain Being. Welcome to another episode of Life of a Game Hunter slash Collector. The series I started to give you guys a tidbit of what it's like to be a game hunter slash collector. The shit you deal with all the damn time. And since I have been getting rained out killing my yard selling adventures, my flea markets, I figured we got to make some money in that shop. So I'm going to go out there, and one thing that I wanted to get done is I need to clean it up. I, I do need to reorganize things and get things set up. I, I just got so much stuff that I need to organize and put away before we can even really do that. So we're going to get that done, and I want to I wanna, like, bang through some consoles. I'm talking I got a bunch of Wiis, maybe a Genesis. I'd like to get a Game Gear done. My last Game Gear, the second I posted it, it was bought. I, a sub was just, he was like, man, I got to grab this, and I thought that was awesome. So I got to get some more stuff done. Look at this wall. I just can't help but show it off. Someone was like, man, you needed to alphabetize that. And I agree with that 100%, but I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> so I hope all of you guys out there have been making some money, adding games to your collection, or just making a living. So anyways, guys, let's get out there. Let's get to work. Alright guys, I'm almost embarrassed to show you guys this, but since well, I had that packages from subscribers episode, a lot of people, we traded some stuff, and I, I oh, just look, I mean, it's embarrassing, but this is, this is the state of the shop right now. It's not going to be like that here in a second, because I'm going to bust loose, and we're going to clean all this up. I'm going to get everything on the shelves, everything divided up like it should be, and then maybe on the next episode, that's when we're going to re reorganize this shop and, and really make it more of a production line, but I can't have it like this. I got Q-tips everywhere. A mouse is liable to stab himself in the brain with something like that, so I, oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I got the AC cranked on. It's hot, humid. I'm uncomfortable, but I can't have the shop like this. There's just too much money lying around, and it's not doing anything if we don't get it done right. So when you're busy like I am, you got a thousand things going on, things just go crazy. You can't hold that against me. It's hard to keep everything in order. But that last package is from subscribers episode. It did a number on me because we got, oh my goodness, we got stuff to go through. So anyways, I'm going to give you like a cut and just show you what it's looking like as, I, as I'm going. Oh, I'm going to turn on some music. Let's get to work. Alright guys, obviously we are looking a whole lot better now. Thank the Lord. I had to get, I had to get that done. I've been putting it off for too long. Other things have been occupying me. Now, we got, I do got, like, some trash over here I got to take out to the uh, dumpster, but this is what we're going to be working on. I actually found a Dreamcast AV course. We're going to be able to test that. A couple Wii's. Just kind of go over some of the stuff that we got for the future. A whole bunch of stuff. People don't realize, whenever you do something like this, you end up with so much ridiculousness. It's unreal. Like, look at this bag of defective original Game Boys. I mean, come on. <laughs> This whole box is filled with Game Gears, the, the entire box, minus that one, I didn't want to get too scratched up. Like over here now, <laughs> thanks to this last package that we got from one of the subscribers, I got in 64 power packs, so I ain't got to worry about running out of those. Same with AV cables. Some of the things that I definitely don't need, need to figure out what I'm going to do with is just, I got piles of the, the original RF switches. Can't do nothing with them. I don't bundle them with systems. A lot of people don't even know how to hook those up anymore, so I just... Oh, I need to do something with all these Xbox. Those things have just been sitting there collecting dust. I don't, they, they are so heavy to ship. I know a few of y'all have asked for them. Just send me another message if you want one, and the next episode we will get them out. Stacks of Sega Genesis. I know we need to get some of those done. But I say it, it's looking a whole lot better, finally. Like I, it's, like I said, I've just been putting it off. It, it kind of came all at once, and it just piled up. So it's done now, and then the next episode we're going to worry about actually reorganizing all this and just making it a little bit more fluid. Because things are just getting overwhelmed. I do need to go through my controller a lot because I probably got three boxes of controllers. Separate those, sell the ones that I don't need, just keep what's absolutely the Now here comes that rain. Oh, it's going to be crazy. So let's set up this tripod here and let's get to work. Let's start making some money rather than me sweating out here in the shop. So let's do it. All right, guys. Contestant number one, a Dreamcast. I went in there and grabbed a game. So we can test it on. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and hook this thing. I was so surprised when I found that that had to have been sent in. Very helpful. <laughs> Dreamcast AV cables, for whatever reason, I never have them on hand. So anyways, first up, let's go ahead and hook this bad boy up. Now this is definitely aftermarket. I can feel it in the quality of it. But hey, if it works, that's all that matters. 
What is this? Let's go ahead and clean it up real quick. I don't want to use the graffiti wipes on top of that. Now, I, I, I tried for you guys. I messaged them. I was like, man, where do you get these graffiti wipes? Because those things are obviously <laughs> ridiculously phenomenal. Uh, he hasn't responded yet, and some of y'all did your own research and found, I think, that it's like a company based in Pennsylvania. I don't know how you would get them or what. I don't know. I have no idea. I was very grateful to get them because I've never seen something so powerful work so well, and um, it's it's unreal. So anyways, let's give this the wipe down. These little alcohol pads work great for something like this. All right. Controller here. I love the Dreamcast. I don't, I don't care what people say. They can say they hate the controller. I got small little girl hands And I love it man. It works perfect for me. It feels great It's it's wonderful. The only the only thing that I don't like about it is I wish the triggers were up just a little bit higher, but The Dreamcast is amazing. So anyways, let's hook this up Now a bit of advice anytime you use any laser disc or laser disc based console clean the laser Just do that first thing. So if it's the first time you're hooking it up you know that that's not going to be the issue if something doesn't load and use a clean game. You're just eliminating possibilities for what could be wrong. I do that. I always preach it every time. Let's go ahead and plug this up. Let's see. Are we getting any power? No. Obviously not. It's got to be plugged in. I do that all the time. Do you realize? <laughs> like I fail to plug everything up. Ooh, this thing is chewed. I definitely won't be selling this with that cord right there. Hell, I'm scared I'm going to electrocute myself. I got plenty of these double-sided cords. Oh, God, I shouldn't even have touched it like that. Cord works, so, so that's good. So let's open this up how she's looking on the inside. Very clean, but I still want to hit it with just a little bit of isopropyl. That way, for whatever reason, the game doesn't work and the game's crisp. I know, sadly, it's probably going to be like the potentiometer or something that we got to adjust. Go ahead and turn that on. Let that dry very softly. Blow with that just to make sure it, it's dry. Because believe it or not, isopropyl alcohol can leave a little bit of a film. And it's, it's, I don't know, it's not the best thing. Alright, so what are we on? Channel 2, video 2. You know how long it took me to remember that? I'll go to video 1. So let's see, power on. There we go, that's a good sign. Put this in here. I'm not going to drop this yet because, of course, we got to get through all the settings. All right. Let's see if she'll read. I always put my hand on top just to see if I can feel it spinning. It's spinning just fine. A Dreamcast is a noisy system. It does. It grinds a lot. The, the motor's going back and forth. It definitely can make some noise. Crank right on up. I, I, I do not feel like adjusting a potentiometer right now. That would not be the funnest thing I could do. It's wanting to. There we go. That little grind right there, that's kind of what I want to hear. Let's see. Awesome. Gun, are you kidding me? Don't do this to me. I know this disc is clean. This disc is like near mint. Oh, don't do this to me. It's too early for all this. Uh, let's see. If I have to, I mean, I'll do, I, oh, I don't want to. <laughs> But I'll do it. I mean, I mean, a Dreamcast is an easy selling system. Oh, they're in demand, so oh, I just wanted this to be a nice, quick episode where everything just works wonderfully. Let's try this one more time. Give us a good sign right here. Just, just be like, listen, man, it's all okay. This is gonna work. insert disc. You're spinning. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, you're spinning. You spin me round now. Come on with it. Oh. 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 Breaking my heart. All right, guys. Let's open it up. There we go. And then I can't remember. Where was the part? Yeah, that's, that's what we need to trick it to think that it's on all right now you can do this without putting it back together i gotta remember how it's been it's been a while since i've done this now let's see all right we should be able to fold you back 
I see the adjustment screw. This is going to be a pain. Can I not access? I thought I could. It's, it's been a while since I've adjusted the laser on one of these bad boys. Yeah, I can. Okay. All right. So when you're adjusting a laser on anything, like a Saturn, any, you got to make the finest adjustments. You can't crank that thing. It's best if you can put a mark down to where the original one is. But the way that I feel is you don't have a lot of play. It's not going to go four turns to the left. It's going to, I mean, you, you, you got such a slight adjustment to where I can sit here and play with it and play with it, play with it. It may take a wrong, it may be the wrong way of doing it, but hey, it works for me. So let's grab a very small Phillips. Oh, that's perfect right there. And then we take a shot of this uh, sun kiss here. All right. And then I'm going to lift this. And I'm talking the smallest adjustment to balance this on my gut here. All right. There was a small adjustment. Let's see. Let's see if she'll work. I'm going to plug this back up. I'm going to leave the lid off of it because I can trick it to think that the lid is closed. This is when everything starts to get repetitive because you are going, you may end up having to do this a few times. Right, power button. I'm going to need that in here. Alright, let's try it again. And then we're going to trigger it. Think that the lid is closed. And I just I did a very minute adjustment on that one, so hopefully that's just going to be enough. You'll know it starts working because the disc will actually get a lot faster. It'll start really going once it once it reads it. really wanting to before I've done this I should have checked another game that game is flawless with its scratches but again you never know it could have been a resurfaced game that was failed this one's not one it's, it's gonna need more adjusting round two it all oh, you almost did it too didn't you yeah you almost see how it went faster right there it almost took it but it wasn't right all right I'm gonna adjust it again you'll probably see skips because you don't need to see me picking this up making the you know the smallest change just to see if it's going to work so we'll come back for round three see how many adjustments this thing's going to take for me all right guys <laughs> i got the adjustments right for this one game right here i went in and grabbed some more games and obviously you can hear it's raining like crazy so what i'm going to do i'm going to make sure both of these let me show you this here just so you can see that this game is now working. I did all the right adjustments. It took, you know, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 adjustments. Some people can do it easier. For me, it, it takes a few tries. As you can see, this game is loading up. Let's make sure these other games load up. And I think I'm going to do a Game Gear refurb just because of the rain. And then hopefully after that, the rain will calm down and we can work on some other consoles. So you may see a time lapse after that or after this. Let's see. Phenomenal game right here, Code Veronica. I love this. I played it on the Dreamcast my first time. Amazing. Alright, will it load? That's what I like to see right there. The games are loading properly. And I like to test multiple games because not all games require the same strength of that laser. So it's, it's best to go through a handful of them. And let's finish it off with Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I'm sorry, Sonic Adventures. But he is the Hedgehog formerly known as Sonic. How's that did look? Got a little squiggly in there, but it should, it should play. This is my personal copy. Oh, Sonic did not want to play. And I know this one works on mine. Oh, it's a little foggy though. Let me, let me help the fog out on it. Oh, Sonic still ain't wanting to play. This disc is not the best shape, but I know it does play on mine. It's still a little foggy. Let me try to try to get that off there a little bit here. All right, let's try one more time. If not, I may have to crank it up just a little bit. This is at that sweet spot where 
the, the, the most minor adjustment can mess it up. All right, so we're gonna have to adjust this just a little bit more, but since I have the sweet spot, I am now gonna mark it because I do not wanna lose this spot. So I'm gonna take a Sharpie. All right, I've marked it. Now I'm gonna adjust it so slightly. Nope, gotta go a little bit higher. For whatever reason, I don't know why, and, and maybe it's just I've never had a perfectly mint copy of Sonic, but anytime I've done this and I've tested Sonic, I always have issues with it. All right, guys, I've made multiple, multiple adjustments, and I still cannot get this Sonic to play. And I noticed, I mean, it does have some scratches, so I decided to give it a buff on my JFJ, and we're going to see if that makes a difference. If not, I'm just going to go grab a bunch of games and make sure they play all of them. And I went in there, I tried this on mine, and it didn't want to play on my Dreamcast, so between here and the last time I played it, it could have just got that one scratch that made the difference. So let's see if this will work now. Come on, Sonic. Which is a shame because this is my personal copy. And I'll have to end up getting another one if this one just turns out to be truly defective. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back inside. I'm going to try this on my console since I buffed it. See if it works on mine. If it works on mine, then I know I just need to make the right adjustments. If it doesn't work on mine, I'm just going to grab a handful more of games and we're going to go through them. So be right back. Guys, I never felt more heartbroken in my life. After the buffing, I mean, even before the buffing, the game did not load. After the buffing, it did not load. I might try to resurface it later down the road, like give it a, a, a little bit more of a layer off, but mm, that upsets me. I mean, I love that game a lot. So anyways, let's try out some other games, make sure this thing's going to load them all up properly. Every episode, guys, come on now. <laughs> all right, guys, so he's gone now. Let's try this game out. Let's make sure all these games load up like they're supposed to. I put it back to the adjustment when things were working right. We're just going to double check and make sure these games load like they're supposed to. Game's loading up perfectly. And it's starting quick, too. You want that game to start. You don't want it to have, like, you know, too long of an interval between when you close that lid to when it actually cuts on. This game's loading up. Let's try another. Mortal Kombat. I want to play you, so we're going to this one next what we got we got soul caliber man oh this disc looks rough oh my goodness this look this 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 look, looks really rough i may have to buff this one oh i can feel that scratch oh goodness let's see it might load it up though then we'll really know this thing's working right but i don't know with scratches like that i, I can't remember if i played this one or not <laughs> Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's see if it gets to the screen. That thing is scratched. I'm going to buff it while I'm out here. Alright, so that one's working. Let's try the final game. So we know the, the Dreamcast is working like it should. It's just my copy of Sonic. Oh, it breaks my heart, man. I love playing that game every now and then. Mortal Kombat Gold. Let's do it. Let's put this down right here so I can actually play it. See that ingenuity right there holding that up? Awesome. Every one of these games are working like they're supposed to. Oh, man. That's probably why I always have issues because that's my original copy of Sonic. And it just kept failing and failing and failing. And then finally, it's just, it's done. So, let's see here. I gotta test this controller out, so the only way to do that is to play it. Alright, so final step of the Dreamcast. We gotta, we gotta check this controller. I don't know why my phone doesn't like to show the screen. Like, my old phone used to show it really well, but this one doesn't show it that well at all. Oh, look at that. God, I love it, man. Who are we going to be? Well, what's y'all's favorite, you know, Mortal Kombat character? For me, my go-tos are either Sub-Zero. Ah, it's hard to say. Or Baraka, man. Ah. 
That's what I'm talking about. Oh, let's just click A so we can test this controller. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. I'm just checking all the buttons. They all seem to be working properly. That's awesome. All right. Let's turn this off and let's put it back together and call this one quits. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get this. Everybody should know by now, weeds are not my favorite thing to test. They don't sell for that much. They're they're slow movers, and they're just a pain to set up. I just what I like to do is if I get two or three weeds at a time, I'll just let them build up. That way I can test them all in one shot. So, let's see. We got the one thing I do love about weeds is you never know you might get a surprise game, and that game might be awesome. That's a Wii Motion Plus controller. Oh my god! I sell these things separately. Usually I don't bundle them with systems. Those things go for 15, 20 bucks. I usually just package it in with a regular controller. That one looks terrible. Alright. Of course I ain't got all the... Oh, I gotta grab a sensor bar. I, gotta, I got so much Wii accessories though, it's, it's unreal. Let's go ahead and set up a power... I hate knots. I, there's a lot of things I hate. Ah. But you gotta look at the positive. This is gonna hopefully make me some money. And that's a good thing. Alright, so let's go ahead put these off to the side Ooh, I don't know what bundle of hair that came from all right this one looks this one looks in bad shape I mean this is this is gonna need a cleaning that's for sure plug do up power light comes on that's a good sign do we got a surprise disc of course not you ain't gonna be that kind to me are you all right let me grab the other cords and a sensor bar here and we got us a game that we can test. Hopefully the game works. We seem to be having issues with that today. I mean, maybe it's a minor complaint on setting a Wii up. I mean, once you have it set up in your house, obviously you'll never usually mess with it again. But when you have to test them constantly, they can be a problem. All right, and the classic sensor bar. Of course, we're going to need batteries. We've got to sync the remote. There's all sorts of little things I like to... Yeah, about. All right, there's that. I don't know what you triggered you, but that's all right. Grab two AA batteries. Get whatever's crawling in that remote out. Go on. I ain't got time for that. All right, controller cuts on. Let's sync it up. something to pry this open because I ain't got no fingernails and hold the sink sink and then look at the sensor bar put that right there there we go move this back so I can there we go so that's working all that's good to go the Mario Kart channels I got Mario Kart pre-installed I have to check that out. Let's see if it'll read a disc. Me and my buddies, man, back in the day, we'd be sitting here thinking, like, you're just messing with it, like, man, you can make it load faster if you spin that thing. Well, that don't work. All right, you recognize that it is a Wii game. And of course, this is the GameCube compatible version, which I do got a replacement black top. At least I should somewhere. Come on now. Oh, damn. I'm going to have to use a nunchuck. I didn't unravel it, so I feel like a T-Rex right here. This one appears to be loading just fine. I want to see what that with Mario Kart channel. Maybe it's pre-installed and if there's no other personal data, I'll go through it. I'll leave that on there and have that as an incentive uh, when you buy. But I don't want anybody else's information on there. Let's see what that's about. I could, uh, it, it very well may be installed. Let's see what else is on here. Alright, let's see what we got. 
everybody. I, who remembers everybody votes, man? I love that back in the day. Nothing over here. Channel. What the hell is channel? That would be slick if it had Mario Kart on here. I think it, it might. Set your region, friends. No, I don't know what this is. I think this is me more like a. Uh... Yeah. Okay. 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 I get it now. Nothing. Nothing crazy. So I guess what that is is it's like an online ranking board. Talk to people. We or Nintendo in general has such a terrible way of doing online. <laughs> it's unreal. All right. So this one's good. I'm gonna set that brick right there. We'll clean it up later. Let's get these other ones tested. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do a Game Gear refurb. That Dreamcast took me a little bit longer than expected. But hey, at least we'll get these Wii's done. And hopefully you learn how to fix a defective Dreamcast. Oh, goodness. Some lucky person. Make sure we're still recording. I don't know how much time I got left on that phone. It's going to get a complete inbox black Wii. I actually picked this up at a yard sale thinking I didn't have one. But it turns out I did. So that means it's going to someone else. All I need out of here is just the unit itself. It's got a weep. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's a separate sale right there if I ever saw one. And another Motion Plus. Con oh, God, it's like Christmas in here. Oh, man. Watch watch you have something special in there. Give, give me a game, man. What else is in here? Did I, I just completely forgot everything that this had? I got another nunchuck. There's a Wii condom. And there's a Wii Motion Plus, but with the plug-in. All right, that's awesome. That's, 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 I'm finding money I didn't even know I had. Damn it, I'm dropping boxes. All right, let's plug this guy up. Uh, the black are very slick, but it, it shows scratches very well. All right, let's see. Get... <gasps> oh! <laughs> we got Wii Sports, guys. Hey, hey, oh my goodness. This is a Christmas day right here. All right, man. This is we're off to a great start. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, we use Wii Sports to test. So that is just freaking awesome, right there. This one has a few games pre-installed: Tetris Party, Pac-Man. I make sure that, like there's no personal information. You know, like obviously, I don't think you can pull up credit cards or whatnot unless you had like a password. But I. Try to get rid of all that and leave the games. If I can, let's try Wii Sports. The freebie. I love my Wii Sports. Believe it or not, man, there is a guy on eBay that will buy all your copies of, of Wii Sports in bundles for like $10 or $12 a piece. I'll save them up. I'll get five or six of them, and he'll buy them all for like 60 bucks. Free shipping. You come on. I don't know what he does with them. He might bundle them with systems. Look at this. This is just excellent. Let's see if we can bust a quick strike out here. Everybody's got their own methods with uh, Wii Sports, man. I'll put miles on this game. Damn. All right, this one's working. Working well. Put this back in the box. Let's see if I got it. I, should, I thought I had more Wiis. I don't see any over here in the pile, but I'm going to keep looking. Put that right here. Let's go ahead and turn you off before we just start ripping plugs out. All right, so we got this. Let's go ahead and box her back up. It said it had Wii Sports Resort with it. Maybe I got it in that bundle, but I didn't have Wii Sports. I can't remember. But hey, that's a good little freebie. Go ahead and stick that back in there. And this will be posted on Macari. It had that black remote with it, so I'll just leave that in there. That'll be the one, and it had a nunchuck, so that one's good to go. This box is pretty mint, but I think the people who are buying complete unbox Wii's right now, they're not really in it for the boxes, at least not yet. Give it a few years, and that'll be a thing, I'm sure. Clean up all this right here. Let me get some of my black zip ties out. If I can find them, there they are. A lot of people always ask me where I get these Wii's. I don't pay anything for these. These things are super cheap, but it's a long wait time. I mean, it's coming from China. I 
can't remember the exact link. I don't have it saved because every time I buy them, I always find a cheaper listing. All I do is type in uh, reusable zip tie. And then once it comes up with a Velcro tie, search low to high and you will find them. And I get like 250 at a time for like two bucks or something. They make everything look a whole lot more professional. And it's just something that I don't know. I've, I've just been using them so long. It's my go-to tie for cords. Plus they're reusable, so that's cool. They're just quick, simple, and that's what it does right there. Go ahead and get us a, well, yeah, we gotta get us a box set up for the other Wii. So we got the Wii, we got that, we got the boxed Wii, we got all these right here. That's, that's you know, that's 15, 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks. Can't remember, maybe 15 bucks. That's 45 bucks in controllers. I didn't even know I had throwing Wii Sports and we're popping $50 in freebies. So I think I don't have any more Wii's in my pile over here. I do got one over there that's in the box. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to call it quits. I want to get this episode out to you guys. I know we didn't have a Sunday video. I feel bad, but the rain, ain't nothing I can do about that, guys. You know I try for you. So anyways, hopefully y'all learned something. Y'all enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. You know it helps me out tremendously. I love all you guys. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.